Hey, Michelle. Okay, so a couple things. I found three stories that I want you to look into, please. And uh, none of them is worth a huge amount of time investment, but each one of them can end up being a small story. One of them is actually kind of amazing. So anyway, you know about this one, and this is just finding out more about this, because uh, I don't know why they'd be in Pasadena, and I don't know if anyone from Pasadena will be there, or if there are any Pasadena groups that are involved, or anything else. But um, if you can find out where this is going to be held and so on, then we can have Andy just do a rewrite on this. As you know, we already talked about that one. Number two. Number two is looking on Bing under Pasadena News, past 24 hours, I found this. This is a story. I'm not medical, so I don't know what hypercholesterolemia is. I have no idea what arthrosclerosis, I don't know what any of these words mean. Anyway, Here's a press release, right? Dated today, uh, Dateline Pasadena. And um, hopefully somewhere in here there's something. Okay, I guess after analyzing data from more than 3,000 adults, investigators found that women were more, were more undertreated than men and Asians and blacks more undertreated than whites. Okay, so you've got a, you've got a sizzle headline, even if no one knows what familial hypo blah, blah, blah is. But anyway, you got a good headline. So I'm looking down and saying, what does this have to do with Pasadena? All right. And the bottom line is this, this organization is based in Pasadena, amazingly enough. And they're doing stuff like around the United States. And I never heard of these people. They're having a global summit. Unbelievable. And yet all this time I've lived in Pasadena. They have been working away at 959 East Walnut Street. So this might be worth, um, number one, a rewrite on this story. Once you, if you can figure out what it's all about, boiling it down to very simple layman's terms, and then it might also be worth a quick investigate, quick, quick, quick investigation as to who these people are and what they're doing. I mean, they're they're connecting with people all over the world. I don't know who they are, so this is definitely worth at least a short rewrite story of their uh, survey they've just announced or released. But it may also lead to note to yourself, note to self. Call them back and find out more about them. I have no idea who these people are. It's amazing. So that's the second thing I found in the last hour. Now here's the third thing. And remember, while looking at all of these, we still have to make sure that Andy doesn't run out of work. So if any one of these takes two hours, we're in trouble because he's going to run out of work. Even though we started with a healthy dose of work, he's plowing through it. Okay, so here's the next thing I found on Bing. I found on Bing this here story. Okay, this story is actually an AP story. Oh, no, it's not. This is a Tribune news service. But I think I saw an AP story on the same thing. Look at this cut line. Taylor Hudson, a.k.a. Paul Hetfield, an iron worker from Pasadena, California. Okay, there's a couple of weird things about this. First of all, Taylor Hudson, a.k.a. Paul Hetfield. That's like saying John Robertson, a.k.a. Bob Smith. I mean, what? Well, anyway. Putting that aside, iron worker from Pasadena. You know how much iron we have in Pasadena? The only iron that we have is that is is what they serve inside lattes at Earth Cafe. I don't know, iron worker? That's kind of weird. Anyway, and now finish the weird sentence. Join the French Foreign Legion. Sure, happens all the time to guys in Pasadena. Anyway, this is an amazing story. Now, I found more about him over the weekend. So let me, I remember reading about this guy over the weekend, so let me show you what I did. Taylor Hudson, T-A-Y-L-O-R, Hudson, Pasadena, Syria. I found, I think it was an AP story about this guy. U.S. civilian volunteers fighting, fighting Islamic State. They're fighting against it. There's all these stories about this guy, 33-year-old from Pasadena. He's been in Raqqa, I think. I think there's some kind of interesting story here. It's going to take a little work to figure this out. If this is true that he's really from Pasadena, and why in hell would a guy from Pasadena end up uh, in Syria? If I had, okay, so this is your lowest priority because it's going to take the most work, but hopefully there might be something in this, and, let, and why don't you check back with me once you find something. So first one is an easy one, the Hispanic uh, press uh, media thing. Next one, a little bit more difficult, but still really kind of amazing. And third one is uh, ISIS. 
all right, and the, and the iron worker from Pasadena. So this is what happens during the day. Stuff begins to accumulate slowly until you have some pretty amazing stories. And, and this one about Taylor Hudson, if this guy makes it back to Pasadena alive, and this is for real, wow, what an interview that would be. And imagine the pictures he's got on his cell phone. Anyway, um, uh, let's talk after you look at these. And this is, this is what I say. Pasadena is no more than three degrees of separation away from, well, anything in the world.